Welcome to today's Rhapsody of Realities, written by Pastor Chris Oyahilume, Monday 11th, May 2020. Be content with what you have. Keep your life free from the love of money and be content with what you have, because God has said, Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 God wants our lives to be void of covetousness. Don't lust after what belongs to others. Be content with what you have. That doesn't mean you shouldn't dream or desire to attain a greater level of success. Rather, it emphasizes being fulfilled and understanding that what you have is enough to get whatever else you want. But the truth is that there isn't really anything that you don't have. The Bible says all things are yours. 4 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 21. Better than that, Christ is in you and Christ is everything. So, in him you have all things. When the crippled beggar at the gate of the temple called beautiful asked Peter and John for arms, Peter didn't say, I don't have what you are asking for, and walk away. He knew he had something, and what he had was enough to produce whatever else may be required. He used what he had, the name of Jesus, in the power of the Holy Spirit, to effect a cure and restore life to the man's hitherto dead and crippled limbs. Always be conscious of what you have, the power and glory of Christ in your life, in your spirit. Your heart is the habitation of the Lord. Do you know what that means? The ability of God is operational in you. How could anyone know this and ever be in lack or need or be envious of others? That is why this knowledge is coming to you now. So you will be content and confident in who you are, what you have and all that Christ is to you and in you and has brought in your spirit. Never think, if I only had this or that, you have what is most important, Christ, and that is all you need. Christ in you is the hope, the guarantee that everything else you could ever require is already in you. Glory to God. Prayer Precious Father, You are my all. I thank You for filling me with Yourself, which is the greatest and best of all, Christ in me. That is my assurance that everything I could ever require is already in me as I produce fruit of righteousness for your glory, in Jesus' name, Amen. For the study, 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 3, 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 21. Meditate on these words, give yourself wholly to them, that your profiting may appear unto all. God bless you.